I'm all packed up for New York. Olivia, what do you think about me going to New York? I wish you would take me with you. <laughs> I thought you were going to give me a mean face. I thought you were going to go like, oh, <laughs> is that what you feel? Tell me how you really feel. I wish you would take me with you. Now the reason I went to New York is, first of all, because I decided to start saying yes to stuff. You say no to life, and therefore you're not living. Yes. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> I, and on Monday, my friend Michael from Monaco wrote me on Facebook and said, hey Rob, I'm running a hedge fund in Monaco, and would you like to get to dinner would you like to get to dinner? I'm having a little get together at my place. We are Sparta! Would you like to get together for dinner on Tuesday night in New York City? When's the last time you did anything fun? So I said yes. <laughs> Halfway to New York, though, the pilot wondered if we'd be okay landing in Detroit. Yeah, sure. Why not? That'd be great. Because there was bad weather in New York City. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love that. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. It's well, good morning. It's kind of loud out there, but anyway, I'm in New York. I'm gonna go see Boris Schlossberg today. Schlossberg! And we're gonna hang out. We're gonna check out his trading office, if he lets me. I'm super excited to see him. I can't wait. I'm so happy to be here in New York. It's super cool. It's cloudy, it's like 70 degrees. I'm in the best mood of all time and forever. All right, let's go see Boris. That's Boris right there. He's trading on his phone while we're having coffee. He needed to see the dollar yen. He's got some sweet ass trade going on right now. So Boris, how's the dark zone? The dark zone is fine. The dark zone is fine. As usual. You know, I missed my entry by a tenth of a pip, and now I'm just sitting here stewing, which is the story of my life. Misses his entry by a tenth of a pip. As always. It's like every dating site I was ever on missed missed a match by just one swipe, just because they didn't like me. The only reason I didn't match with people online was because they didn't like me. It's not about personality matrices and charts. It's all about the bumps in your heart. This trading room. <laughs> trading makeover. Trading makeover, right? That's right. I love the air conditioner right in front of your computer. That's... I hate air conditioning, by the way. I absolutely despise air conditioning. So how do you organize what you do? Quotes and so, trading right so, there? Of course, a real computer is the Mac. Okay, okay? that's the, the real computer. The PCs are just the dumb, dumb drones that, that give me quotes because... Um, so this is just email and other... It's not even email. It's just like one of my emails just to see, but this is basically one of my accounts where I'm checking, um, you know, quotes and charts, and this is my other account where I'm checking quotes and charts, but the actual work is all done on the Mac. That's interesting. Yeah, exactly. Do you, oh my gosh, so you have two monitors over here. Yeah, I have, I have, every, everything is driven by laptops, so there's nine monitors, right? So each, this, this, this PC has two monitors coming off of it, and, and just like you, I'm waiting for that, for that great startup that's, that's creating, um, you know, monitors for laptops. Yeah, that flips the monitors right outside right, of your right. laptop screen. The, mo the moment I get those, each one of this stuff is going out. I'm going to be completely, completely mobile. That's where I met with Boris, which was awesome. 
We took a walk in Central Park and we had a gyro. And then I went out to Long Island to see my friend Lori, who's trading with just her phone. <music> Get a load of this. This is her setup. No computer, no multi-monitor setup, no muss, no fuss. You can you can trade and drive with no problem. Yeah. Look, there's RSI on the bottom and a moving average, a couple moving averages, and then Bollinger bands on the top. And that's on her phone. You're you're setting your trades up from a phone. Yes. You're my hero. <laughs> that's so awesome. What's so incredible about what Lori is doing is that she's only using the telephone. Here's a telephone call being dialed. A simple operation that occurs thousands of times a day. That's all she's got. And she's following a method that she learned from me and then she made her own. It's her own method now. It's 100% hers and she created something that she can just look down at her phone. For with each turn of the dial, Electronic impulses speed along miles of wire. And then I got a message just yesterday from my friend Nimmer, who said that all throughout his vacation in the United States for the last month, he's only been using his phone and he's up $5,000. And I think to myself, I think that was just $5,000 last week. And it reminds me that moving to a simpler approach is a better idea. Trying to do things the easier way, the simpler way, requires a leap of faith, but it's so worth it. It's easy. It's fast. It's the latest improvement in helping you make calls to friends, loved ones, and business associates in other cities. We're sure you'll like it.